Oh, I just woke up, or it just got really big. We're no up a slow pitch! Woo! All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part two of the last video you just watched last week. We are bouncing out to 77 miles offshore. We're gonna be in roughly 140, 150 feet of water. We're looking for red grouper, big hogfish we might come into, looking for meat, big, big, big. So we're gonna pack the boat up here. We got about a 14 more mile run to get out to the 77 mile spot. And we're gonna start dropping down. Big stuff only, let's go. Slow pitch jigging. Where's the net? Move. I think the net's under you. It is. I was going to put it back. Uh, is it a tuna? Oh, no. red grouper. No, did not need a net for that. You kind of shocked me there. Kind of okay. short, kind of small. <laughs> I thought it was like three times that size. Slow pitch rods, man. A little red grouper, guys. All right, guys, the slow pitch rods are getting smoked. Buddy, you can just put a slow pitch jig on that rod if you want to. Yeah, that's what I to do. Oh! <laughs> We're not well up a slow pitch! Woo! Oh, we're killing it with a slow pitch! Oh, what is that? Look at that thing! That's one of those snapper thingies. Something bigger. Those are so, so far to reel this thing up to. Nice fish, dude. Thanks, man. That's a PB for me. I'm uh, one. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll have to get the real name of these guys. They're, they're some type of a porgy. I think they're like a white porgy or a champagne porgy or something. That's a grouper. It's a good grouper. That's a gag. You got a gag? Oh, hoi. That's a small gag for this depth. Yeah. <sighs> There you go, guy. Hell yeah, Bill. Pitcher, gotta get a picture of that thing. Take a picture of that thing. Oh, that's rough. What's the small one there, Dusty? One of these? No, it's gonna be on the other side. You wanna pick it up? Yep, I'm right here. Right. Nice gag. You find a small one? Yeah. All right, guys, slow pitches. Slow pitches going on. We're not even anchored, we are just drifting. I'm putting a slow pitch on here. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> right at me, Hooked up on the slow pitch again, guys. Oh, pulled hook. Hey, you ain't kidding. We're messing them up, Brian. You gotta, you gotta hook those pinfish through the mouth when we're drift fishing. You can't hook the anal fin. Oh, we're on another fish with slow pitch. Did you hear me? I don't know what I got, guys. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, look at the mangrove. That's a mangrove? Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, mango. Hey. Slow pitch jig mango. What, what do you have on that? This is 40. 30. That's 30. Nice, dude. Big mang. I want to fish off the back like you. Drop the ladder down if you're going to do that. That's way you don't hit the ladder. -da. Oh, I'm soaked. Hopefully I didn't soak you guys. Too bad. All right. I'm getting in the slow pitch gang. Yes, sir. Going to the bottom. To catch me a PB hog. Moved away from that yeah, area. Still a lot of shit in the oh! He's clapped. Are you on the bottom? Or? Yeah, I'm on the bottom. I'm jigging right off the bottom. All right, guys. So we're hooked up again. Last one fish was a mango. I don't know what this is. Feels like another mango. Ryan, I have more slow pitch jigs, man, if you want. No, big old Joel head porgy. That's a big one. Should we keep that one? What do you think, Brandon? Should we keep it or toss it back? Toss it back. Throw that porgy back. Guys, these, uh, the jigs that we're using are not like expensive jigs. They are just uh, cheap Amazon jigs, the cheapest ones I could buy. The rods are Tsunami rods. And then this is a Shimano Torum 20. There you go, Brandon. We got the slow pitch on, finally. I think it's a mangrove. On the slow pitch, guys. 
We're literally just straight drifting right now. Double up the slow pitch. Oh, Steve's on. I got one of those crazy snapper. Crazy looking snapper. Guess what I got? Another mangadang. Another mangadang. Look at that mangadang, guys, on the slow pitch. The other hook went in. Brian, get into action, Brian. Oh, you're on. It's gotta be a color. Gotta be good That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Get him, Bill. Get him, Bill. Get him, Bill. Get him, Bill. <laughs> Look at him. A good fish. I'm about to swap the jig. <laughs> gotta be the color. He's catching the bigger fish on that jig, and it's gotta be the color. Uh, I see it. Looks like a gag. Look, nope, it's a red. Red? Yep, it's a big red. That's right here. Not a big red. Yeah. It might keep. That's an I'd measure it. It might keep. Another red grouper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It might just keep. Just Doubled up, Brandon. He got a slap on the drop, son. Oh, it's a better fish. It's not a snapper. It, it might be a big main. I can only hope. Brian, what are you doing, Brian? <laughs> Slow pitching. Oh, what break my damn arm? He's over 20. He's just almost 21. He's almost 21. <laughs> Yeah, I got a. Probably some of the cooler fish I've ever done. What the hell you got? Oh, big old mangadang. No, it's ARS. Oh, it is ARS. Sorry, buddy. Oi! Okay. <laughs> ARS on the slow pitch, guys. Nice little ARS, guys. I'm gonna vent him real quick. There he goes. Vented. Yeah. Right. Off you go. There he goes. <laughs> Let it on the bottom and then kind of reel to the side a little bit. <laughs> Doubled up again. Dude, look at that cobia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a freaking cobia. Get him. This is the smallest thing I've caught him this so far. Thank God. I got another mangadang. Really? Something must be with that color for mangroves. Oh! oh. oh. What happened? Sack tap? The jig! Right in the nut sack! Oh, I got tapped. I got tapped. It's crazy we've been drifting this whole time. We're still pulling up good fish. Slow pitch, jig in. Guys, we are not professionals at this at all. I can promise you that. This is only like our third time ever doing this. Look like a bunch of Japanese cane pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little bit better red grouper than I thought it was. I'd measure that thing, Brian. I'd measure that thing. Pinching the tail, he's right at 21. Right at 21, pinching the tail, put him. 21, but pinch tail, he's in a box. Oh, I seen that rod tip jump, did he come out? Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out, get him, Brad. What did you catch? Look at that mango, holy Mangrove? Keep reeling. Brian does it again, Brian. There's huge mangoes here, boys. Oh, guys, Brian just got a big old mangrove on that whatever the hell cut bait he was using. Butterfly cut bait, how do you feel, Brian? Like you caught a big mangrove? Much better. <laughs> nice mangrove, Brian. In the box. In the box. In the box. Guys, the box is blowing up. You. All right, guys, we just finished test dropping this little area here. We're gonna drop the hook, start chumming, see if we can get some big fish up to the boat and make something happen here. Oh, yeah. Brand new area, brand new area. We've never fished this before. 
fucking slow pitches down. Like that was this. fun. Ow, man. Ow. I'd love to come out and just do slow pitch digging all day. Oh, what the hell is this? What, what happened? Look at that spike up. Oh, yeah, uh, drop the freaking juggy Drake. thingy. Drop the juggy thingy. Jug? Jug? You want the jug down? Yeah, but Dropping down the chicken rig as well. Show them what you found. So guys, if you guys can look right there, right there, right there, uh, I got a big old ledge right there that we just drifted on top of. So I got to figure out which way we're going to drift. Dropping the chicken rig on that big spike we just ran over, guys. I got something. Borgie. Mangrove. Is it? I don't know. It's way down. <laughs> Let me just jump in and look for you real quick. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. She's fighting like a mang. It's looking a little too white, though. Baby ARS. Oh, Bill's on. Oh, I got one of those crazy snapper. So much nicer than that other rod. Wow. That's, oh, that's, a, snapper. that's a good one. That's what we've been catching. That red board you we dropping a hook? Uh, I would like to, but uh, people are hooking up, so. Really? Are you hooked up too? Yeah. Oh, everybody. Every, I can't film. I'm <laughs> there's, right now. there's too many people on. <laughs> Get off. Oh. Oh. Brian's on. You, <laughs> you guys are fighting each other. <laughs> you? You didn't have a fish? Gotcha. Open up, Ryan. So he's got your bait too. He ate both of us. <laughs> Mine was barely hooked. That might keep. Look at that, dude. Keeper. He ate both baits. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brian? How are we doing this here? I don't know, buddy. Uh, you're down in the water again, Brian. Oh, there we go, boys. In the box. Open her up. We just hooked up on the slow bait. <laughs> I yeah, I can't do anything though. When everybody was, I you started dropping, Bill dropped. You guys are well, suckers. I don't know, if Brian. It's Brian. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ate you both. Oh, I got something heavy. I got a grouper. Rojo. A little Rojo. Holy shit. Look at the screen behind your back. Can't. Mark. I'm not there. I can't mark. Right. Hit Mark. Nope. That's hit. it. Just don't worry about it. Yeah. So, guys, we keep trying to drop the hook on the buoy way over there, but everyone's fishing and hooking up everywhere we drift. So, we just keep drifting and uh, just don't lose the buoy. Like, um, can we go set the hook now? Dude, we're waiting on you. I'm sitting behind the helm. I can't do anything with lines in the water, jack Hello. wagons. Up. All right, guys, it is hot as hell right now. Dustin's dropping uh, anchor. We're about to drift back about 100 feet to that buoy way over there. And um, we have been hooking up like crazy, just drifting this whole area. We're gonna get the hook set. We're gonna get a big chum slit going. We're gonna be looking for groupers, <laughs> hogfish, snapper. We'll see if we can just keep filling that box we got probably another hour or two to fish and then we got about a two hour ride in so see if we can make do make it do it's tell us right there that is another ledge oh god you should sit right here i'm i don't i'm not reeling up putting up no more anchor line out and we hooked good lord we're hooked all right, we didn't make it to the buoy, but we found another great spot, so. <laughs> we were planning we're gonna... on getting to the buoy. We had to drift perfect, but I mean, we're gonna cut her short. Bill just dropped in the chum. Looks like some nice Taco Bell bathroom. And we're gonna start, we're gonna start fishing heavy. Yeah, Taco Bell bathroom. Look at that. No. Oh. Oh. We are hooked up. Got, oh, it's like a snappery fight. That looks like a snappery fight. She looks like a snappery fight. Oh. 
Oh, real, 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 real. You got a shark chasing you. Run away. Run? Yep. Big shark, dude. Oh, he's not chasing mine. I got one of your little porgies, too. Did you get a pass the sharks there? Oh, perfect. Good yeah. We ran to a school. That was a big shark. Really? Yeah. Damn. I glanced down, I'm like, man, Brandon's fish looks a lot bigger than what it is. Big old sharky shark out here playing? Nope. What do you think it is, man? Uh, it's a porgy. It's such a dead weight. Could be a little grouper. Is it Bill? Is it Bill? No, I don't know what that is. What? What? No what that is. Bill, you got any oh, idea? Yellow eye snapper. That is not a yellow eye snapper. What? That's, That's a big, eyes. I think it's a big eye Toro. Tori, Toro. Big picture of it. What? Of it. Don't touch me in the case it's poisonous. <laughs> no, seriously, man, it could be like deadly poisonous. Well, grab it. Take a picture of me, man. Guys, I've never hooked this ever. I have no clue what this is. If you know, Brandon, let Brandon. me know. I think it's a big eye Toro. You got another way to spell Toro? I guess we can send you the picture and you can send it to uh, uh, Scott. New PB. That's when you know you got a good fish and nobody on the boat knows what it is. There's a shark, Brian, hurry. Just straight reel, stop pulling, just straight reel. He's off the bottom, just keep, just keep reeling. Brian, what you got, man? It looks like a red grouper. Red group? Red group. That's a keeper red group. With a grunt in his mouth. Oh. Maybe it's the one that ate mine. Red group. Does that have a grunt and a hook? I just see a grunt. Does it have a hook in his back? It had a hook in his back, yeah. 24. 24? Brian just caught a nice red grouper, guys. And I'm going to get a picture of him holding it. Yep, Brian got a good fish, guys, so he's gonna go in the box. In the box, Brian. In the box, boys. Don't want to go since noon. Bingo! Bingo, baby! Bendito! He's actually decent. Brian, he went in there. Brian! Got it. Brian! I don't know if it's that crazy. Oh, it looks better than what it did. Oh, uh, he just woke up or just got really big. He's got a shark, son. I don't know. Hold on. Why do I get upgraded on the one fish that I get that's decent? Immediately. That's a damn seven footer. He's literally just dogging me. Well, I just got upgraded like crazy, guys. Literally have no energy for this at all right now. Oh, yeah. Look at that big mother junker. Damn shark, boys. <laughs> <laughs> on the slow pitch. You guys ever catch a seven footer on a slow pitch? Dude, it's hooked perfectly next to his eye. We pet it. I'm gonna grab a gaff and I'm gonna try to de-hook him with a gaff. It's just not what I want. <laughs> but uh, you're the one that always wants to catch big shit. End of the day, no energy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I can't reach. Oh, he just spit out your fish. <laughs> what did I have? You had a porgy. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this jerk off. Uh, little touch, it's a catch. It's a catch, got him. <laughs> Got him. At least I'll get rid of this guy now for us. Oh, there, oh. Son of a bitch. Really, dude? No, guys, I'm not gonna gap the shark. I'm gonna try to use this as a giant D-hooker to get my jig back out of his mouth. As long as I get the metal back, I can buy new hooks. <laughs> Be nice for one more group. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about the shark there. I got the shark, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> that took me for a ride. He thought he had the shark here. No, he's still here. Okay, well, you're playing with him. I'm gonna make sure Bill doesn't need him. I don't want this, guys. <laughs> I'm gassed. I'm the hardcore gassed. No, nope, keep going. Caught him. Caught him. Hey, Ooh, look at that freaking stuff. Jump on his back, Brian. Get it, Dusty. I need the line, bud. Nope. 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 Ah, come on. Oh, man. Well, that was worthless. I tried. <laughs> 30 pound leader. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh, 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 guys, guys, guys. I think that's a game. I think that's a game. Game finisher for daddy. Yeah, let's call it, guys. All right, guys, so I just got my ass put in at the end of the day on that seven foot shark on a slow pitch rod with 30 pound leader and now i'm halfway about to pass out i think we're gonna call it it's about three o'clock right now we got a two hour ride in so we got some good red grouper we got some good snapper great day overall you guys want to come out and do this almost basically the exact same fishing that we did today you guys can give me a call or if just find me on instagram or facebook uh instagram will be fish fish and crazy on instagram or fish and crazy charters on facebook um, I'm sure Brandon will probably, maybe probably leave a link to my stuff. So we'll have a link to my stuff down below in the description. If you guys would like to go out and get a charger, we are fully licensed and ready to rock. Offshore, inshore, you name it, we do it. Give us a shout. All right, guys, so with that being said, we're going to pack up the boat here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little slow pitch action video we did. We got into some pretty good eats. It, we caught most of our fish drifting. We really didn't get a... On a good bite anchored up so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one peace